All right, well, since I'm going to be making a video on thermal analysis here in Fusion 360 soon, I figured I would take my first look at it. Oh, that's the wrong button already. Good start. Again, good start. There we go. Jeez. Simulation, study, thermal and thermal stress. Let's go with just plain old thermal today. Click OK, and it looks exactly the same as everything else which that's good. The base, everything's made out of steel. We don't want that. Do we have just wood? We do. Good. Arm, let's make that out of aluminum in the shade. Well, who really cares? Hmm. Let's make it fabric. Yeah, it's fabric. Okay. Loads, this should be a little bit different. So what options do we have here? Applied temperature, surface, convection, radiation. All right, so let's have a convection load uh, on the outside of our shade. And ambient temperature is 20 C. Sounds good to me. Let's just make that one and click OK. And let's add another load, an applied temperature, and let's do that on the inside. And we're going to say that that's kind of hot. What would that be that's kind of hot? How about, I don't know, I don't work in F or C, so let's go with F and make it 100. That sounds good. Click OK. Contact, automatic contact, easy. Awesome, I made my lamp connected well enough, barely, that we should see some heat transfer through this thing. Uh, one more load, let's just put a convection on the bottom here as well. See if we can drive some heat down there. And I got a red light, so I guess that means I shouldn't be solving yet. Why? Let's see what it says. Some components, ah, it doesn't like my wood material, I guess. So let's go here, and that would be why it has an exclamation mark. So now our base is no longer made out of wood. Our base is going to be made out of... Not spruce either. I guess we don't have uh thermal material properties in there for wood which i guess kind of makes sense let's have it be made out of marble that'll be fancy and now my light is green perfect so pressing analyze let's see how fast this thing runs not too many nodes look at that very easy and as i'd expect the inside stays hot everything else stays cold Pretty reasonable. Let's see if we can change these values a bit. If I go back to loads, oh, I just press on it and it go, takes me back to that screen. Awesome. The applied temperature. Let's edit that. Instead of an applied temperature, let's say it's a surface heat on this surface. 10 watts. I think that's reasonable. Let's go with 15 watts. I don't know. Let's get rid of our convections just to make it different, and mm, let's prescribe a constant temperature down here and say, okay, 20C, and press solve and see what this one does. Oh, beautiful. Extremely high temperature there. Ho oh, ho. Apparently my wattage was not reasonable at all. But that's fine, and at least it shows us what we're doing. That's why you actually look up your values. You know, garbage in, garbage out. So let's edit that one last time. Unfortunately, I don't know what watts really relate to. And fortunately, this also solves very quickly. So let's see what happens. Again, super high but not so bad. I think if we made this just a bit smaller, it would be a realistic value, or maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. That's fine as well. 
awesome. But what this does show is that it is extremely fast and easy to uh, use. So maybe next we'll be looking at uh, the different options that we have available for thermal stress. Uh, it's good to know if your parts are hot, hot, but it's even better to know if they're going to break because of it. All right, well, thanks for watching.